death. It's not something many of us want to think about, but there are controversial debates about the right to die when someone is contemplating taking their own life or is suffering from a terminal disease or illness. One person who has not backed away from this difficult issue is Derek Humphrey. He is the founder of the Hemlock Society. He is a journalist and an author and has a new book out, the Right to Die, Understanding Euthanasia. We'll show everybody this book first and want to thank you for, for coming on Newsletter 7. You are mm -hmm. certainly um, a nationally prominent spokesperson on this subject, the subject that not many people want to talk about, do they? Yes, but it's changing. People mm -hmm. are beginning to realize that there are serious problems with, with dying these days, technical problems and money problems and ethical problems and legal. So more and more ordinary people are addressing this issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, books and programs and talks on dying are, are becoming popular. You've written other books on the subject. You yes. wrote Jean's Way. Yes. That was the story of how you basically helped your wife terminate yes. her life, right? Yes, ten years ago when she was dying, she, she ended her life with my assistant. She felt it was the right thing for her to do. I wrote a book about it, and that's what got me into it. And uh, the Hemlock Society grew out of a book, in effect. The, so many people wrote to me saying, tell me more, help me. What is the Hemlock Society exactly for those it's who are a right, not familiar with it's it? It's a right to die organization. We're, we're national. We have thousands of members here in, in Florida. We're based in Los Angeles. We're trying to get people to think about it, talk about it, understand it better. And we, in, we intend to legislate for better euthanasia laws, the right to die in a manner of your own choice. So you have written the Jeans Way book and I believe another book. Why this one? Why the right to die, understanding euthanasia? What's the motivation? Well, this is a, a serious overview. I think now we should, the problem of euthanasia is now fairly well known, but it's, this book says stand back and let's look at it historically, legally and ethically, and it goes into religion and, and all aspects of it and, and tells lots of stories. It's an overview of the whole problem. It's time we, because this is not a problem we, of euthanasia, right to die. We should rush into it. It must be carefully thought out. And that is the purpose of this book. Western society takes a different viewpoint about death than, say, Eastern society does. Yes. Isn't that true? Yes. But the, this particular question of right to die and wanting help with death mm -hmm. is a Western problem. It's a problem of rich nations with high technology, high expectation of life. And the, it's not, there are no euthanasia societies in China or Russia or Africa and so forth because that they're di they die in the old-fashioned way to put it simply we are dying in a different way and that is what is causing this social revolution what do you see as as the the uh, foremost issue that you wanted to bring out in this particular book I think the right to privacy that the right of an individual to keep the government off their backs at this point in their life and you know, we have to put up with government in so much of it but surely when you're dying when you're in your final days and hours and months there should be periods that is uh, as enjoyable and self-sufficient as you want and you certainly don't want um, regulations and government on your back telling you to telling you you must live telling putting you on life support systems this is the time of great um, personal life choice I think this is what the book is saying and you have made a true personal choice to commit your life to helping people understand death. Yes. Last question, very briefly. What exactly is death? There's some confusion over what is death. Oh, it, it's when, uh, I would say, death is when um, all quality, all, all the senses and, and biological parts that, that make your life worthwhile have, have disappeared. There is, a, there is brain death as well, when a scientist would say, well, there have to be certain functions of the cortex and the heart and that stopped. Uh, but I say, I would say the first definition would be when the things that make life worthwhile have gone. Thank you so much, Derek Humphrey. The book is The Right to Die.